And Brandon, how did this all come about? Tell us about when the discussion started and how they developed. Um, the discussion started uh, just after I found out me and Glory were going to part ways. Um, I had a great opportunity from to come here and uh, you know start afresh. And uh, you know I can't wait to get started with Wellington. It's a big move for you. I mean, not just uh, you know coming from Australia to New Zealand, but all the way from Perth, where you've spent all your very early life. Yeah. Um, does that, I guess, feel like a, a, a quite a big commitment for you to make the move? I think uh, it might seem like that, but for me, it was a no-brainer. Um, it's, a, it's a long distance away, but a, a long way from home. But for me, it was a no-brainer to come here. Uh, it felt right. It's the right feeling, and you know, obviously, as I said, I can't wait to get started. Ufuk talked about where he sees you fitting in. Is that, is that where you feel most comfortable in that kind of six? Yeah, line? I think uh, six is definitely my preferred position. Uh, I got an opportunity at centre back with the uh, with the Oli Roo setup, and uh, I did pretty well there. But for myself, I prefer six. But wherever I need to fit in for the team, I'll do a job. You look at uh, the way the Phoenix are playing, and, and there's some pretty good sixes there at the moment. Uh, Devlin, Steinman, yep. Roof are coming back, so yep. you're up for the fight to, to fight for a spot? I think it's good with competition. Um, I think we'll all push each other. Uh, I think that's what we're here for. We're here to, uh, as a team and to be better. And uh, you know, pushing for a spot makes you better, uh, and for the team especially. So. Obviously, Ufuk's a big part of you coming here, having worked with them previously, but yep. what about the way the team's been playing? Is that also mm -hmm. an attractive proposition for you? It's very attractive. Um, the way they play, their style, obviously the way Ufuk's implemented his style is, is massive. And um, obviously they're, they're winning games, they're doing well, so that's obviously a challenge to break into the team. But especially the way Ufuk's implementing his style has been an attractive uh, thing for me and definitely a selling point to come here. And just one more from me. Um, it's obviously been a bit of a frustrating time at Glory for you this season. How, yep. how, how hard was it, you know, not getting minutes over there? Oh, look, that's uh, that's football, I guess. Um, you know, if, if you're not in the plans or you're not getting game time, you just got to keep your head down, work hard, uh, and that's what I've done. Uh, and I've tried to keep fit. And when the opportunity arises, I'm going to hopefully take that. Do you think you'd be ready to, to play this weekend if called upon? Um, yeah, I mean, I haven't I haven't had game minutes for a while, but I think uh, I think I'd be ready at any opportunity. Yeah, and were there any other options within the, the A League? Um, to, to uh, Wellington was my was my only option in my head. So, yeah. Yeah, a few players here you've played with before. I think Walter Scott's probably one. Of them. Yeah, Walter Scott. I uh, played with Joshy, uh, Devlin, and Reno uh, with the Ollie Roos. So yeah, very good lads. Yeah, because does that help? You know, help you settle into a new environment. It's good. It's good with the transition. Yeah, definitely good with the transition. Um, but yeah, they're top lads, and obviously all the other lads have been great to me so far. So. Yeah, it's been good. And is it good to have the security as well of, of you know, you've signed an 18 month deal so that it's not just this season but next season as well? Yeah, it's great. Um, you know, you can work hard and you've got 18 months in a, in a place, you can start to settle a little bit and yeah, it's good. What sort of made the Phoenix appealing for you? For me, massively, um, the boss, Ufi. Um, I've worked with him before, I know I know what he's about, I know his style and for me that was a massive selling point for him to give me the opportunity I'm, I'm thankful for. Um, and also, you know, it's a great place and the team's doing very well so you know, it's, it, it all just made sense to me, and yeah, I felt right. So perfect, and and you didn't get a lot of minutes, as you were saying. Have yep. you felt like you've been struggling for form, or it's just the environment? Oh, just no, just I didn't get minutes. Uh, that, that was the that was uh, Popovich, the boss over there. Uh, that was his decision. Uh, I respected that decision, and I trained hard every week. Um, and obviously, as I said, I'm waiting for my opportunity, and hopefully, when I when I get that opportunity, I can take it. Yeah, absolutely. And you left on a good note over there. Yeah, left on a good note. Thank. Thanks to the club over there, three and a half years at my hometown club. So, yeah, really left on a good note. Absolutely, and there the obviously was the misconduct, but this feels like a fresh start for you. Feels like a fresh start. You know, I'm looking forward to the fresh start, and hopefully, uh, I can gain trust back they with the Australian like, public. They seem like a good bunch of guys who are going to help with that. Yep, they're, they're a very good bunch of lads. Cool, very good cool. Bunch of lads. And um, obviously, you're wanting to get as many minutes as possible. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's that's uh, what you strive for as a football player, I think, to get as many minutes and to help the team, you know, ultimately win something. And I think we've got a really good chance of winning something this year with Wellington Phoenix. Yeah, was that something that appealed, like the form? Like yeah, massively. I think massively. I think as a footballer, you look to ultimately win something at the end of the year. And the way Wellington are playing at the moment, it's uh, it's definitely doable. Cool. And, definitely doable. And were there other teams that approached you as well? Um, yeah, but Wellington was number one. Cool. When you mentioned about wanting the trust back from the Australian public, I mean, is that what you're hoping is you can just be kind of recognised yep. as from your, your football on the field? Yep. What do you bring to the table for this point side? Why should Ufi pick you over someone else? Sorry? Uh, what, what, what do you bring to the table? What, 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 what are your strengths, I guess? Oh, I work hard in training, you know. I'm going to prove myself on the pitch, and it's obviously the boss's decision who he plays, um, ultimately, and I'm just here to help the team. Got a squad number? Uh, number 12. 12. Yep.
Did you pick it? Yeah. There's not that many left. Yeah, Lucky. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> 88, 88, 88, 88, 88, 88, 88, 88, 88, 12's a bit. 12's good. 12's good, yeah. 12's good so. Yeah. Good. Cool. Any, anything good. you just want to say to the fans? Yeah, the fans, yeah. Can't wait to, uh, to hopefully play in front of you guys and looking forward to it. Looking forward to it.